Hello, this is Will Said, and this is my first tutorial I'm making. So if I make a little mistake, just bear with me. Um, it'll all work out in the end run, I promise you that. This is, um, today I'm going to show you how to do a sequence photo. This is a sequence photo. Um, a sequence photo is basically um, a video broken down into snapshot layers placed on top of an original photo. That sounds really complicated, but it's actually very, not at all. This is also another sequence photo I made, and this is also another one. Um, to make a sequence photo, it may seem a little um, a little confusing and all, but actually it's not at all. You're going to go to your video that you have. My video right here is called Will Sick Flip, I think. And here's pretty much my video that I turned into that picture I showed you earlier. Now the reason I, sh I chose this video to use it on is because I'm into making edits. And I actually didn't land this, but I decided to make it to a cool sequence photo instead, instead of putting it to an edit. And now the way you're going to do this is you're going to go to... I'm, I'm understanding that you guys probably the basic background on how to make a little... Um, how to like do print screen and stuff. So you're going to click print screen, and then you're going to make this into a layer, bring it over to Photoshop, and save it as a JPEG. And then you're going to do the same thing to your second, the second position you want your body in. Like there, you're there. So you're going to commit, click print screen, save as a JPEG, and then, and then have it out. Then you're going to do it the last time right there. And you're going to do print screen, save as, JPEG, and then you can make them like all labeled one through three in the order. Um, and then you're um, if you have Photoshop, you can open up Photoshop. I'll give you guys a link to Photoshop to um, f f like for a, a trial. I actually own the program, so it works out pretty nice for me. So you're gonna then the next thing is you're gonna import all the your uh, clips that you'd like. Mistake. Sorry about that. Like I get, I get, yet again, I said uh, I make a little mistakes because it's my first tutorial. Um, so you're gonna open. I'm gonna import all of my clips, that all the video snapshot layers I have. Open. There we go. Now I have actually all the layers out here. And next is your. It's always nice to have a little zoom. You're going to go to this tool which name is beyond me. It's located right here. And you're going to click right, right here. And you're going to click the plus button. This selects part of your video. You're going to select it all. After you've selected it, you're going to click, um, you're going to go over to the edit, and you're going to click cut. I like to cut it, just for now it's done with. And then you're going to bring it over to your main first clip you'd like, and you can click paste. I'm going to do this a little out of order just for the heck of it, Jeez, whatever. This one's probably not the most as cool as the other one I did, is I'm just doing this one in a rush. I'll probably finish in a couple minutes. You go back to the plus tool, hit a little zoom edge, and click. You want to zoom? You can click. Uh, there's a little zoomer, zoomer right there. I have actually a short cut on my keyboard. Sure, that nice. Click it. That was a, that was a nice easy one. And let's say you make a mistake and you accidentally click a little bit over here. You go to the minus tool, and subtract. Do it backwards. I'm just I'm rushing right now just so I don't have a 25 minute tutorial. <laughs> subtract it. Subtract it. Subtract it. And there you go. Your second layer. And you're gonna click cut. For right now I'm done with it. And you're done to paste it. There you go. There's your second part of you. And then our third, my third video frame I chose was right here, and I'm pretty completely backwards. 
and you're going to click plus select it all click it down oh whoops see there you go Hit the minus a little minus action a little minus a little too much minus right there make it a little smooth smooth it out I like smooth that's like the name of my YouTube username smoothness we like it smooth Oops, a little too carried away I'm having a little trouble with this last one the way this set tool actually works is it finds like color groupings and that's how it selects it I believe I'm not a Photoshop expert I'm a 15 year old kid but that's what I think that's pretty good whatever if you make it I'll show you a little thing you can do at the end for like a little little stuff like that that's not the end of the world you would just go to and you're gonna cut it and you're going to paste and you can click up here and there's that's a dragging tool drag it over this may look a little butchered but thank god we have a tool called eraser now the way Photoshop works is there's different layers on top of this photo, which is called background. Now see layer one. Now see layer two. How there's a little uh, action on the sides, like right there. Like the little lines. That I don't know why they're there. We're gonna go to eraser, and you can actually erase, erase them from without. You can go right over your body because this is just erasing this layer. It's not erasing the background, but it will. It will erase your body if you go over it. I will not do that for, for demonstration purposes. We go to layer three. You can erase it. And there you go. And this is pretty much finished. If you guys would like to add a little splice, you can go to background. Like the color curves option, kind of mess with it a little bit. The only bad thing is, like I said again, I'm not a Photoshop expert. I don't know why it doesn't. It, it doesn't. Whenever I do the layer, whenever I add it to the curves, it doesn't add it to the next, the next, um, the next layers over here. It doesn't add the color effect. But um, I'm gonna make this tutorial. I'm gonna end it soon. I'm, this tutorial is not about color directing. It's about just how to get the basic the basics down. And you're gonna crop. You're gonna say yes, sir. I'd like to crop this. Oh, wait a minute. Crop. And there you have it. There's a little, little, a little thing I made for you. If you guys have any questions whatsoever on how to do this, please contact me. I have a Skype. I'll leave you a link how to. Um, um, feel free to um, message me or whatever on how to do this. If you have any any questions at all I'm pretty good with uh, computers and whatnots so you can just Skype me and I'll video uh, a screen share with you and I'll show you how to get through your problem thank you I really hope you liked my tutorial this is my first tutorial a lot of people have been asking how to do it and I figured out answer so see you guys have a nice day remember to subscribe to me see ya and wait a minute don't I'm not done yet. You guys want to save this? Click Save As, and you're gonna bring it over to this is called Make It JPEG, and you just want to save it as whatever. Let's go. Will edit. I don't know. I just name my files weird stuff. For an example, 180G unit. I named it that file. I don't understand why I named it that. Just happened to name it 180G unit. And you're to make it. I like to make my files large, just because the maximum quality, I guess. The point, the point a half millibyte save doesn't really affect my computer. I have a big hard drive. And you're gonna click OK, and then from there you can just no, don't care, don't care, no, 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 no. And you're gonna go to photos, and you're gonna go to scan, and you can find it right here. We'll edit. And you can see like all the different layers I have from the video. And there's one ADG unit if you're wondering what it looked like. Um, I really hope you like like this tutorial. It's my first one I ever made. Um, please let me know what you thought.